bum bum ba dum bum 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 ba da da dum bum bum ba dum ba ba dum dum bum 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 ba dum bum 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 ba da da dum bum bum ba dum ba ba dum dum da dum da dum Dun, dun, dun. Hello, my friends. Hello. <laughs> it's so nice to see everyone. Hi, Kathy from Wesley Chapel, Florida, just north of Tampa. Well, thank you. know, I knew you were in Florida, but I didn't know where. Hi. Nice to see everyone. Welcome, my mighties. Welcome, people from, um, from, from really, we have so many sites that everybody's on now, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Pinterest. Uh, <laughs> There are lots of places. We're on X now. We're doing a lot of, um, we're just about everywhere now, which is, uh, which is good because we need to get this movement going faster, even faster than it is. Why? Because the powers that be are moving fast. Life is fast. Work is, um, our work before us is, requires that we move at a quite a quickened pace. So good evening from Ajax, says uh, Rona, <laughs> and uh, from Pennsylvania, and hello from Australia, and oh, New Zealand. It's great to see everyone. Kentucky. Hi, Bob and Deb. <laughs> nice to see you all. So we see, as you see, we have um, our little floozy who's coming in and out of the picture. But first, let me tell you what's going on tonight. It is 8 o'clock Eastern time, and my name is Joette Calabres, and I'm here every Monday night. Um, to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to teach you homeopathy and get you up to snuff on how to use homeopathy, what you ought to own, what you need to do, what you need to learn. And owning is not just the remedies, but it is the remedies very much so as well. But it's also what to, you want to own this, uh, this, this information. You have to understand it. Really uh, take it in, and you don't have to memorize it, but you need to at least have a good feel for it and how to follow through. And for those of you who already know me, hi friends, it's great to see you tonight. As always, every Monday night, it's wonderful. I'm gonna have to cut us a little bit short tonight. I've got a very large class tonight. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, if you go to Joette's Learning Center, you will see that there are um, uh, studies uh, that you can study, gate, uh, excuse, of course, gateway to homeopathy, but also good gut, bad gut, and feminopathy, and toxic, and it's infectious, infections, etc. And all of my courses are available there. And then we have groups that meet together, and then I teach them live on Monday nights. And tonight's a rather big night, a rather large group, as I recall. So tonight, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people are worried about, and I have to tell you, I am not worried. Uh, Floozy's a little worried. Remember, Floozy's, um, well, her full name is Influenza, um, and I call her Floozy. Um, that's her, you know, that's her barnyard name. <laughs> and she's a very frightened chicken, because all of a sudden, chickens are the target. Whether it's um, Pox de la Chicken, <laughs> or Flu de la Chicken, we know that it has a lot to do with this, uh, this creature, um, and so she's very nervous, and a lot of times she does this. She shakes, she worries, but, but I've told her she really need not worry, and that's what I'm going to tell you tonight. First of all, let me tell you that whatever the, how do I say this uh, without getting into trouble? Whatever the party line is, whatever you're told is what's at, what the, what, what is the, what you're, whatever you're told is, is, is the, the official statement, my friends, think twice. It's very likely not that at all. If we've learned anything in the last few years, maybe even longer than that, is that there is a lot of um, gaslighting and uh, fear and um, it, gra it grasps us, and even if for, th for those who are of the strongest constitution, it can still be nerve-wracking because so many people around us have taken it up. So whatever it is that comes down the pike, start with this. If there is anxiety, if you're feeling anxiety, your family members are feeling anxiety, 
You know what to do. No worry. Oh, so, I'm so good. No worry. Be prepared. Just be prepared, says Helen. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Birds get a bad rap. You're right, Robin. That's really true. <laughs> um, it, everything will be okay. It's, we need to uh, remember that homeopathy um, is not only extremely efficacious, very inexpensive, readily available, at least at the present time, and it could may be readily available forever. I'm just saying, just be prepared as though it might not be, okay? Just, you know, some people um, um, put, get buy cases of sardines. All you, what you want to do is uh, prepare with your homeopathic medicines. You want to be prepared. You know, you never know. Plus, as you know, there is a, um, a stale date written on these remedies. But my friends, I have remedies from 19, I think it was 1918, 1919, and they still work. 19, 100, 108 years ago, 104 years ago, my friends, they still act. So I know that it is not good um, it's not good practice to, um, to keep them in, in places where they could go bad. That, and some people say it's extreme heat. I'm afraid I don't agree with that. I used to, but I've seen time and again, over the years, I've seen my, my remedies have gone through the washer and then the dryer in high heat. I've been through x-rays many times. My, my remedies have been through x-rays many times, have never been affected um, I've, my remedies have been left in an extremely hot car in Florida. And if you know anything about Southeast Florida, it is hot and the sun just bakes in and the remedies sat there. Um, I've been, they've been exposed to extreme cold. You know, I live in, uh, lived in, in New York state and they were exposed to cold when they were left in a car again. So what that means is that for me, what I like to do is I like to keep a kid in my car at all times. I can't tell you the number of times that I've been out with friends, my husband and I have been out, and um, somebody is not well, and one of us runs back to the car um, and gets the kit, and we administer the remedy, and, they're, they're, and then we're, we're off to the races, and that person starts to feel better often in short order, depending on, of course, the condition. So um, be prepared. So then once you feel that there's angst and you're worried about illness, we have our top remedies. And the most common remedies, besides Ignatia, that begins with an I, I-G-N-A-T-I-A, light, like St. Ignatius, Ignatia, um, the rest of them, of the, of the, of the fear, fearful remedies, begin with an A. Aconitum, arsenicum, argentum nitricum, or a metallicum. Those are the top remedies for anxiety. And so before you make a decision, you might want to read up on each one of those, depending on how you're experiencing it. So my friends, no matter what the condition is, whatever it's called, whether it's called based on this little critter, or it's based on a, 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 an, um, a pig, or it's based on a flying mammal like last time, whatever it might be, you're going to use the symptoms. Now, here's the key. I, be I believe this is the best way to think about this. That is, when you first start getting sick, do you know what it is? When somebody is getting, let's say, I don't know, chicken pox, do we know that it's chicken pox immediately or do we see a couple of, uh, uh, maybe a few hours or a day or sometimes even two days? Of, of a fever and achy and fatigued, etc. We don't know what it is at that point. All we know is that. So I almost always start with one of two medicines. Cold calm, it's one word of sorts, I guess. Cold calm, it's a combination medicine manufactured by Boron, B-O-I-R-O-N. And reminding you, my friends, when you go to Boron, and you check out at the end, put my name in at the key at the end, and you'll get a substantial discount, just my first name, J-O-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. And again, I will say this forevermore, that I do not get kickbacks. There is, I get nothing for this. I, the discount goes to you, goes to the student, goes to my clients, goes to those who I will never meet, those who have followed me. 
That's where I want the discount to go. Why? Because I want you to pass this around and get many people going with this. I want you to be able to purchase lots of medicines. I want you to own a medicine cabinet that kicks you know what. I want you to have this available. And why am I so um, hip on this, as they used to say in my, in my generation? Because if you are doing this, and she's doing that, and he's doing that, if I have trouble, I know I can go to someone. That's one reason. And because we get to a certain age in our lives, my friends, and we find that we have a real desire to do something, to leave a legacy, and I want this to be not just my legacy, your legacy your family's legacy. I want people to come to you. I want your grandchildren to say, Grandpa, Grandma, I have this on my arm. Can you help me? I have a stomach ache. I want you to be relevant. I don't like the way the family is going in this world in which we live right now. The family is being uh, decimated very quickly. I want to bring that background and strengthen it. I'm, I'm, I'm Sicilian-American, I'm American first, but my heritage is Sicilian-American, and everything that I grew up with was la familia. It's about the family, my friends. If we don't have a strong family with a, with a grandmother knowing how to take care of the children and the grandfather knowing how to protect the family and the parents, et cetera, et cetera, we're in trouble. We, we are too readily giving over our abilities to others, and so I want that to end. Before I leave this earth, I really would like to see at least a movement in that direction. So, anxiety first. Aconitum, if we're frightened, to like terribly frightened. And in the A's, I gave you the remedies already. I normally use them in a 200C. Generally, we use them once or twice a day. Or metallicum, if one needs that, because there's depression uh, around, around what's forthcoming. If, some, if, if there's a new condition arising, so to speak, then there could be a need for or metallicum. And then we use that every third day or every other day. We don't use it quite as often. Now, there's also ailments from bad news. It's gelsemium. Just remember that. It's a G. It's not an A remedy. It's a G remedy. Gelsemium, G-E-L-S. G-E-L-S-M-E-M-I-U-M, -E gelsemium, -E and I like that in a 30 or, or, two, or 630 or 200. Okay, that's what we start with. Then what do we do next? If she gets pox, if she starts to get little, I don't know if you can see her, she already looks like she has pox. I know she's frightened to death, isn't she? <laughs> we use the medicine regardless of what kind of eruption it is. I mean, what, what it's called. But it doesn't matter what the name of the microorganism is, my friends. It really doesn't matter as much as you might think. If we know the name of a microorganism, then perhaps we can choose a medicine more carefully. But to be honest, even if you don't know what it's actually called, or it hasn't been determined yet, we will use the remedies according to how it's presenting. So if in her, she's restless, and she can barely move, she, keep still. She's constantly dashing about. She just can't calm down. She's agitated, and she has itching uh, eruptions on her body. We're going to use a medicine that we use for all the time for these kinds of conditions, and it's called Rustax. Rustax, my friends. R-H-U-S-T-O-X is the second word. That's a shortened version for um, um, for, I'm not going to go through the, full, the whole words. I'm going to let you go through them because I know you can find it just under Roos. Um, it's Roos toxicodendron, but I don't want to confuse you. It's Roos, R-H-U-S, tox, T-O-X. And we would use that in a 30, and we would administer it to her, and we would put it in her mouth, not the whole bottle, but in this case, just to demonstrate. She takes it in her whole mouth, and then she... <laughs> Is this not hysterical? Look at the look on she takes the remedy, the number of pills that's written on the outside of the bottle. Now, she can barely see that. Let's see if she can. Yeah, she's reading it now. She knows that even whether it's a chicken or it's a dog or it's a, ma it's a llama or it's a child or it's an adult, we're going to follow the directions on the outside of the bottle. And after taking it a little while, she's going to slow down, and the itching will slow down, and she'll start relaxing, and she doesn't have to have any more remedies now. 
and she can start relaxing and she can take it easy. That's the way this works. Whether we use Roostox or what's another remedy? Let me think of another one. Oh, let's say it's Belladonna. The bell Belladonna is a remedy that if her, she's got a, a sudden, really high fever, like 104, and she's, it's all of a sudden, and bam, she's got this fever, and she's got the eruptions that are itching. We're going to use Belladonna. Belladonna, beautiful woman, beautiful name. Great, these remedies are such beautiful names. They have such beautiful reputations. And you're going to use that in a 30, for example, every few minutes for the first hour. Or excuse me, every 15 minutes for the first hour. And then every few hours after that. Now let's say instead, what do we have another one? Let me think of, oh, another one is um, um, antimonium, <coughs> excuse me, antimonium tart. That's a great medicine for when she comes up with these eruptions, regardless of what they're called. I'm saying chicken pox. I'm telling you, my friends, it doesn't matter what the, the first word is. It almost doesn't even matter what the second word is. If, if what you're seeing are pustules and they act in this fashion, the medicines are the same, Okay. Antimonium tart, we're going to use that medicine when, they're, when the rash is slow developing. It's slowly developing, okay? It's slow. Let me think of another. I've got them dashed, rashed. Oh, all right, we've also got pulsatilla when they're clingy and the person is just so, they're sick and they just want love and they just have to have lots of love and attention. She just wants to be as close as she can possibly get to her family members because <laughs> she's, she's crying and she's weeping and she's freaking out, but she needs attention and affection and she's itching. Pulsatilla, 30, ev for every 15 minutes for the first hour perhaps and then every couple of hours after that. You see where I'm going with this? Now, should you be interested, if you go to Joette's Learning Center, you can go to the Survivalist Guide to Homeopathy, where I discuss all, all myriads of epidemics, anthrax, chickenpox, cholera, dengue fever, breakbone fever, diphtheria, Ebola, yes, my friends, hemorrhagic fevers, encephalitis, West Nile virus, hepatitis, influenza. You see where I'm going with this? Malaria, measles, I could keep going. This book covers not only what the medicines are, but how to use them. So you go to Joette's Learning Center, scroll down to um, where it says Survivalist Guide, and that's where you join in. So... What time is it? We're doing all right. Let's see if we've got, um, no, antimonium tart. Uh, antimonium crude could also be useful, Mary. You're right. But antimonium tart is, is particularly valuable for uh, this particular condition. Let's see if we've got any other, any other. So my friends, please like, share, comment so that we can get this out faster to more people. Um, hi, Tammy. <laughs> Nice to see everyone. Excuse me, let me take a sip of water. Um, let's see what else we've got here. No, antimonium tart. Antimonium crude also, my friends. You could also consider antimonium crude, but antimonium tart it happens to be very useful for that. Cold calm. Oh, I didn't answer you, did I? The first remedy is cold calm. When we start feeling cold, like there's something coming on, achy, something's happening, keep it in your purse, keep it in the car, keep it with you. And the other one is um, Aconitum 200 mixed with Bryonia 30. And that is a Banerjee protocol. Um, um, and so that is, that's used pretty much in the same way, only I think I would use that a little more infrequently, maybe every couple, few hours or so. That can be... That can halt, or these medicines may not completely halt or abort the whole condition. It may just bring it down to a softer level so that now the person can take a rest, sleep, drink chicken broth, don't eat. Don't worry about eating. Don't, I don't want to hear anybody say, but my child's not eaten in three days. So what? You can go for a very long time without eating. It's the hydration that we're concerned about. Don't worry about eating. You're not supposed to eat when you're cleansing. And that's what these conditions are when you, if, if and when you get sick. Bryonia 30 uh, with aconitum. I have said 200, and I have used aconitum 200 with bryonia um, 200. But 30 is the better choice. So um, 
when you are when you get when you feel sick you what you're doing is you're re, you're releasing getting rid of stuff that's the goal you're supposed to be tired so that your body knows enough to lay down but drink water drink water with celtic salt or celtic salt in it drink bone stock that you've made from scratch if at all possible uh, if you have a rash, would you use oscillococcinum? I like oscilla for some situations, but uh, for some people with certain situations, I know lots of folks depend on oscillococcinum, but uh, I personally have never, um, I've never um, found oscillococcinum for me, as valuable for me. But for many others, it's been quite useful. All righty. Um, there we go. Hi, Noreen. Nice to see you. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Dolly. Uh, yeah, graffitis, Napmur, petroleum, they're all worth looking into, but these are the top ones I just gave you. Um, another one uh, is uh, mesoreum is another good one. That's a possibility, too, mesoreum. There's a, there's a yellow yellowish oozing. Uh, let me see if I've got anything. And there's burning with the itching with mesoreum. And often mesoreum has the pox in the, in the scalp or the head, or it starts there or they're more more uh, um, voluminous at that area. All right, how are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Yeah, it's really great to see everyone. Cold cum, and I would not use cold cum and antimonium, excuse me, and aconitum and bryonia. I wouldn't use both. Choose one, stay with it, and see how it works. Now, cold cum is it's very available. You can find it at Walmart, where it belongs, my friends. Don't, don't um, uh, be dis discouraged by Walmart carrying that. Don't be disturbed by it. We want these medicines available to all people, even those who are not willing or not, not able or not knowing that this is even available, that this information is available. I want them to, by accident, see it on the shelf at Walmart. That's exactly the way we want it. Um, that there was no climate control in Hahnemann's day, and the remedies were perfectly fine in homes and had no central air or heat for centuries. That's right, Tracy, nice, well put. And, and after spending... Uh, long periods of time in India and going into people's homes. Uh, now, those the doctor's homes that I went into were, of course, air conditioned. But I also went into my driver's home. He invited me to meet his family, and it was not air conditioned. And so, and he had homeopathic medicines. They had it. They showed them to me. They kept them in a little chest under the bed. It was hot, my friends. It was so hot that your feet stick to the. To the to the the tar on the on the uh, sidewalks, it extremely hot, and so I've never seen it become a problem. So, um, Wegmans carries boron. That's right, not as much as it used to. Whole Foods used to carry; they're carrying it less. Wegmans actually is pretty good. All righty, my friends. Let's see if we've got any other questions that I can quickly answer for you. We're going to go over this whole thing with with the uh, forthcoming conditions. Because my friends, you need to bone up on this. You need to know what to do and to stay away from the fear mongering. It, as far as I'm concerned, it's been an epidemic of fear. That's the epidemic. The, if, you, if you're watching the numbers that, were, that there were supposed to have been reported a few years ago, they were not dependable shall we say okay and now we're hearing the doubt the the the, the uh, ill effects of of the solution that they came up with okay antimonium tart i would use it in a 30 antimonium crude if you decide to use that could also be in a 30 um, um antimonium crude could be for the itching as well that's right that's right um, okay, my adult children see me using these medicines and have started asking about and yes, and and for them. Yay, that's right, Angela. You're absolutely. That's how it works. This is our legacy. As as women, it is our job to make the people, to feed the people, to take care of the people, our family. And when we're done with our family, then we go 
to the extended family. And when we're finished with that, we go to the neighbors and then we go to our church mates, et cetera, et cetera. That is our job, my friends. It was, in my estimation, it's been stripped away from women for a good mm, 80 years, 100 years. I was in Paris in April and paid my respects to the father of homeopathy at Père Lachaise Cemetery. Beautiful. Yeah, and if you happen to go to Washington, D.C., there's a beautiful monument of uh, uh, Samuel, Dr. Samuel Hahnemann at Scott Circle. And here he is here wearing his beret because his last years were spent in per Paris. Okay, my friends, I'm going to dash off. Mm, love you. I will see you next week. Keep going, my friends. This is, this is good. It's good. Do not worry. There's nothing to worry about because we've seen worse than this in the, since homeopathy began in the late 1700s. You can handle this. Take care. Bye now. With our homeopathic protocols, you learn your remedies.